Okay, uh, let me pull this up now. Online test mode. Okay, so we can see that the, the previous value for the preset, we had it uh, saved at 6, so that's what it stayed at. When I click this push button now, you can see it's going to come up to 6 seconds, but this is where the on-screen keypad allows us to change it. So I'll make it 11 seconds and hit Enter. So now when I hit On, you can see down here, it changed automatically to start counting down from 11. The light is still on for 11. And it counts down, the light shuts off. I can go back if I want to make it, you know, 4, not 41. We don't want to do that. We want to make it uh, 4 seconds. Hit enter. And I'll hit the on button 2 again. This time it counts down from 4 seconds. So it's relatively easy to implement uh, this, this on-screen keyboard for presetting your timer with a keypad entry. Are there any questions on that? Okay, that's, that's uh, about all I have as far as timers for today's session. Uh, if there are any questions in, in general about what we've done today or anything previously, now would be a good time to, to field those questions. I see there's one here about uh, I tried to use the same memory bit to jump to a new screen and then simultaneously perform another function programmed in the ladder. I'm just answering it. I'm typing the answer. Okay, you want to go ahead and answer second. Okay. Okay. Okay, maybe I can answer by microphone if you are here. So uh, when we define, first of all, when we define a touch element, uh, when we link a memory uh, bit to a touch element, it starts to run as a hardware. So it runs as an input. So we cannot use the same element twice linked as touch element to two operands. And we cannot use this uh, memory bit as a coil because it operates like an input. So the input is pressing uh, the button. This is one thing. The second thing, if you use the memory bit as a, a, a link to a push button to perform jump, so uh, it operates as positive transition, and when it performs jump and goes to another display, the operating system of the controller resets it. That's why I guess I don't know what exactly when they did uh, in ladder. I cannot see her ladder, but I guess this is the reason why it doesn't work the push button in ladder. Is it clear the answer, Wendy? It's okay. Okay, I guess we have another questions here. Okay, uh, Andrea, thank you. Do thank you, Wendy. Thank you. So uh, one second. Once again, thank you, Wendy. Yeah, if there's if there's no more questions, then um, I guess we can okay. we can end it up here. Uh, I'd like to thank you guys all for listening in and attending. Uh, and like I said at some point earlier, uh, I do plan to have this up on the web. Um, you can check out our forum. It's not implemented yet, but on the Unitronics forum, we do plan to have a write-up of what we discussed today. Also, a, a YouTube link to the, the video recording. Um, assuming this recording worked, but I think it should. Uh, so we should have a, a kind of a, a knowledge database of this, this current webinar, as well as all the previous ones. should be up soon, and again, that's going to be posted on our forum. Um, so if you don't know how to get there, it's just on the Unitronics.com website and then you can go to the support tab 
and form is the, the option on the bottom that you can select to bring you to our form. And uh, that's where we are going to be placing this, this webinar information. Uh, there's no section yet, but hopefully uh, come next week, we should have, have something up there for you to go back and reference as far as this. But uh, otherwise, thank you. And uh, if you have any other questions or if you have any feedback, uh, just go ahead and send that to support at unitronics.com. We'd be happy to hear any, any suggestions or feedback that you may have, as well as any other questions in general. And uh, thank you, and I'd like to thank Emil as well for sitting in and helping me. And uh, okay. have thank a nice you. day. Thank you, Jeff. It was my pleasure. And thank you to all attendees. Welcome to the next webinar. Yes, thank you. Um, I guess I should say, too, that we, we are planning to have these um, quite frequently. I believe our, our next schedule one, it's not going to be until, until January now. Um, I don't have the schedule in front of me, but uh, we are going to be sending out information about those webinars. It should be starting the, the second week in, in January, but uh, we'll have more information about that as far as the topics. And actually, I, the schedule is on our forum as well. If you go to the form and then there's the calendar sections, I did just enter those in yesterday. I can't remember them off the top of my head right now. But on our form and the calendar section, it's, it's listed with all the topics as well as the, the dates. It's going to be on Wednesdays, but all that information is on the forum as well under the calendar. And you can also always uh, just send an email to holly.dillon at unitronics.com. She has all that wealth of information as well and can help you out. But uh, otherwise, thank you and have a nice day or night, depending where you are, I guess. Jess, <laughs> uh, there are some questions here. When the next webinar uh, will be and where the, uh, when the, uh, one second, when the data will be available. So there are a lot of uh, thank you, so I want to thank you too to all participants. Uh, can you answer those two questions? Yes, one second. Um, I'm trying to pull up the, the schedule here on our forum. Oh, I just have a message from Holly, uh, which says, uh, if interested to, to January webinars, please email to uh, Holly uh, that uh, Dylan uh, at Unitronics.com. I hope that all you know the uh, email of uh, Holly Dillon. In the worst case, please send an email to uh, support at unitronics.com and we will pass it to Holly so she will take care. And I just have up on my screen right now too. I hope you can still see it. Um, there's the, the Unitronics form and on the calendar here as well, I placed those. You can click view event and it will show the next one is actually on January 12th. 2011, and it's going to be about uh, data tables and data logging. And that's actually kind of unique. It's a, a two-part series. Um, let's go back to the next month. So uh, the first half we're going to be doing, um, building data tables, and then the, the second, sec second session is going to be using data export and just continuing. So if you plan on tuning into the 19th, it's suggested that you, that you listen on the 12th as well, because uh, it's going to kind of build on the, the previous session. Um, and as far as where and when the information about the webinar is going to be posted, um, it's going to be somewhere under the forum section here. I'm going to try to create a, a new, new topic completely as far as forum, uh, but I just have to work with somebody on that as well. But it's going to be somewhere up in here, and you won't be able to miss it really. Um, so I'm going to try to get that hopefully by the beginning of next week to have, have something up and, and running with that. I just have to work with the person who, who moderates our forum to have that, have that put into place as a definite. Um, but definitely, hopefully by next week sometime, we should have more information for you at least about where and when it will be available. Okay, otherwise, uh, thank you guys, and I'm going to be closing the session right now.